Bracky. Now, I know I'm going to be missed, but I'm going to bed. Yeah. Yeah. You're not missing anything out here. You stay in your in your. Listen, pit. I don't care if I stay asleep, asleep for four days. Yeah. Once in a while, take my pulse to see if I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. Now, number one, we just had a divine dinner, but it was there's something missing. And what we should have with dinner every day would eat be champagne's a very nice idea, or some lovely Chardonnay wine, and then. It's very nice. We don't have to read newspapers and TV and this, but how about sending in a lovely harpist who you can gag her, she won't talk, and to play a nice song for us while we dine. Jackie, Big Brother has noted your request. However, champagne, chardonnay, wine, and all alcohol is provided at Big Brother's discretion. I understand it's at his discretion, but I'm giving you a legitimate reason why... We should have it at our discretion. Everything's at their discretion. We understand that. But now at our discretion, we would like to have a glass of wine with our dinner. We had a great meal and some soft music just for dinner. Now, you can certainly pipe in a harpist. The harp music is very lovely. And this sort of inspires us. It gives us something to talk about. And also, we're adding some culture to this place. There's no culture here. This place and that your public audience who basically turns on the TV to be enhanced. Mm, yeah. They got a dull life at home. They don't have to <laughs> they got a dull life at home. Look at eight dull people. <laughs> dull people. They said that I would be with eight of the most brilliant people in England. I was hoping you'd have someone like Bill Gates here. They talk about uh, frankly nothing. <laughs> Actually, the night, cute little boy talks about nothing. No one's talking about anything. Jackie, you were told before you left Los Angeles that Bridget would be in the house. How do you feel now that you're here? I think she's lovely. <laughs> I mean, I've nothing against her. She married my son. That's it. Right. That was a touching tribute to... Jackie Stallone, who this episode is dedicated to, who we sadly lost this week at the age of... 98. 98. Me and you will not be making it anywhere near that age, young man. <laughs> I doubt it. Not the Prosecco that we're drinking. Mind you, I'd like a nice glass of Chardonnay. <laughs> Chardonnay. Prosecco is one of my five a day. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, that cheers. was quite... That... Oh, cheers, cheers to, to a Jackie. Big brother, a Big Brother legend. <laughs> that was actually really funny. I realised when they had did the best of shows how funny Jackie was. I'd kind of forgotten. Yeah. Very, very funny. But... In a kind of like un, unaware kind of funny in it. Yeah, right? but like, that don't matter. No. If you're funny, you're funny. I mean, I can't believe, given how she... Mm. How many years ago was that? I don't know. Like, like she, 15 at least. Like, uh, given the state she was in when she went into Big Brother, mm. I can't believe she mm. lasted that much longer. Can well, you? Think about how old Sylvester Stallone is. He He's seems old. old as fuck. Yeah. So, hmm. Anyway, welcome to, to Be Beyond, Beyond Blast. Blast. With me, Lindsay. And me, Gaz. We're actually here to talk about a far inferior programme <laughs> from a USA. I normally don't say that, but it is good. I've gone down down the path. But do you I'll know say. what? Yeah. Even though this year has been shit and yeah. everyone hates it. There's a good edit. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying it still. Are you enjoying it more than you normally do? Um, oh, probably. I think yeah. more than, norm- more more than, than I usually normal. would. Don't you think it's more entertaining than normal? Even though it's awful, at least it's... I don't. I don't know what to say about it. For me, it's got a nostalgia f- factor. Yeah, of course. Cause, but for you, has it got anything to offer? Well, no. Tyler's there, and I saw him on Big Brother before, <laughs> so I guess that's a form of nostalgia. Right. <laughs> now, for me, I think like what I've been enjoying is that Big Brother has been kind of highlighting the conversations that are the more poignant ones, which mm. in the past weren't even in the show at all. So it's true. At least it's been like giving us a chance to sort of touch upon those issues that we like to talk about and it's, it's important stuff it's funny because i've been cramming the podcast to sort of swat up on stuff and they were talking about you know racism in the house and casting and blah 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 and they were just saying it's you know it's not a big brother problem it's a global problem it's a world problem and i was just thinking this shit has been going on in big brother since time immemorial. bb uk bb us bb australia yeah. bb canada oh and you sent me that clip of um oh yeah Evil dick having a conversation with mm, a female black, a black female housemate jamaica who was basically echoing the same stuff that you hear now like uh, it was funny because you always say about people going oh africa you know classing africa, africa as country. Like, yeah. yeah 
And it, do, but do you see? Oh, that was it, wasn't it? What did yeah. he say? He said about starving kids in Africa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But wasn't it funny that in that conversation, which I tweeted and which didn't get as much attention as I wanted, mm. um, that, <laughs> if you want to go back to like my tweets. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it funny that in that conversation, she was the one who ended up apologising because she'd hurt his feelings because he was upset yeah. that she'd said this. And it was just like, no, this is the wrong fucking way around. And I feel like it's the exact same thing happening now in Big Brother and it's annoying. I think it's worse than annoying. Wasn't she echoing the same sentiment as, like, we saw Bailey and Devon saying, like, oh, I can't react in a certain way because... Mm. Of this, it's an, and the way what I'm representing here. Yeah, the pressure on me. Be it. it felt like so much like what Dave Ong was saying. Also, it was just she, like she was the only person sensible enough, sensible enough to know that like generalizing Africa as being mm. full of starving children is problematic. Yeah, but Evil I Dick is problematic in more ways than one. <laughs> I don't know. At how, least his daughter. <laughs> how long ago was Evil Dick in Big Brother? Like Big Brother Eight. So how long ago is that? Like. I don't know how many time years. it is with us, but... Well, it's the same it's probably... amount of years. It's that many years. So we're on 22 now, so... <laughs> yeah, so it was like 2000... No. Big Brother 8. 2007, right? Mm. Yeah, around that time. I feel like, obviously, I used to be a lot more ignorant than I am now. Like, <laughs> Quite, I've me too. I've come a long way, haven't we all? <laughs> but, like, because... I, I think because of, like, how charities used to market the cause, like, we did believe at a certain time, that Africa was just full of starving children. Oh, yeah. And that was... A, I think it's... I think well, it's, Geldof is to blame for yeah, that Yeah, I think it's more of an 80s type mm. thing. Well, only recently did Stacey Dooley got moaned at for going... I can't remember where she well, went now. Somewhere. She and was accused of being white Yeah, savior. the white saviour syndrome. But it's true. There is that... Because I used to work for Save the Children. Mm. And even then, it was like, you know, it's not about a pop star, a celebrity going in and saving... It, it should be giving people the infrastructure and the materials and the stuff to do their own yeah Yeah. so it's it's a real catch 22 i feel that one because Mm. like a celebrity who has a name wanting to put publicity behind a cause Mm. there's not actually anything really wrong with that no like one direction going walking around like a village that's just had a new well put in Mm. that's like good for the cause of the charity because Mm. that engages the One Direction people good for the villagers too to see the lovely One Direction I know (laughs) who doesn't want to see Zayn Malik pumping water that would be my pick (laughs) (laughs) that's for sure (laughs) Um, so yeah I just felt I felt a bit sorry for Stacey when she got came under fire because Stacey's actually like clued up on the issues and stuff yeah and like it's only an issue because she, she happens to be white, but Stacey does have a good intention. Mm. But I feel like it's just building upon all of that, like, yeah. problematic imagery from the yeah. past and, like, oh, look Do at they these know poor it's Africans. Christmas time at yeah. all? <laughs> look at these poor Africans who need help from Bob Geldof. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Bob Geldof. Also, that song, oof, enough already. The thing is, there are so many affluent and developed parts, countries within Africa that, mm. you know, never used to get any publicity or anything. No, at- no. It's, oh, there's a lot. There's a lot to think about. It, it's funny how Big Brother is just a microcosm of all Society this stuff. We know it. All this stuff. Oh, do you know what I think is weird? And I don't know if I've said this on the podcast, mm. but the fact that black people in America are still mm. called African Americans. Mm. Don't you think like that just kind of, semantically, had... it kind of separates black people from everyone else because I've... they are African Americans by definition? I've heard black people push back on that. Definitely like should because yeah. a lot of those people have probably have ever been to Africa. No, or probably and also, all of them, <laughs> or most of them, most haven't. Of them. Yeah. And also, what if you're like from the Caribbean, mm. then you you'll be labelled as mm. an African American regardless mm. if you're in America. Mm. I'm sure just because convenience and assumption would say that like, oh you're probably hail back to Africa mm. although I know eventually like if you go back far enough mm. everyone would but like it just seems a weird term to me like it began you don't call, in Africa you don't Africa. call people African British because they're black do we we don't have that no we call, not to say that we're perfect we call people black British don't we it's yeah black. no we're certainly not perfect certainly not but we ain't got Trump so not, <laughs> not all bad <laughs> Well, I've got Boris, so. We have got coronavirus. So, <laughs> <laughs> so does everyone. Not us personally. We've done a test. <laughs> I haven't done a test. No, I haven't done a test. <laughs> I know someone who had a test recently, one of our l- listeners. Oh. I don't know if I should put his personal business on the podcast. Probably not. Who was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's probably. 
Audible. Um, <laughs> oh, he doesn't care. He would like the attention. Um, yeah, apparently, you have to have a right long swab up your nose. For oh, that. it's horrible, apparently. Mm. And one down the back of your throat as well, as I've, you know. Oh, some of us, there's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say for you, but then I thought that sounds mm. homophobic. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's not because we all do it. Mm, anyway, exactly. Enough about that. If you're not sucking, we've had this before. <laughs> if you're not giving blowjobs, what are you doing? It's <laughs> one of my fav- top five things to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll give if you want to know the other four, DM me. Yeah. Oh. Presumably watching Big Brother. <laughs> yeah, and uh, listen to more of <laughs> Um I was going to start the podcast like this before we had the Jackie Stone thing, but we I've ruined it now. Do you, know, I no. feel like, do you know, a lot of stuff, and there's a lot of love and a lot of feeling for Jackie coming out from the Big Brother community, because obviously who else knows who Jackie Stallone is apart from the Big Brother UK people, really? Well, yes, and Bridget Nelson. <laughs> yeah, Sylvester. exactly. Did Bez but, do a tribute? I wonder. I don't know if Bez did. Um, <laughs> but I saw Davina tweet, I saw Ryland uh, tweet. Ryland said, let oh, me I've guess. For, what? Who didn't? Who didn't? Yeah. Oh, um, Emma Willis? Yeah. I don't... I wouldn't have thought so, but Emma wasn't on the show then, was she? Uh, hmm, convenient. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked. Emma might have tweeted. Mm. But um, Ryan was like, oh, I hope she's up there with Harpist or something. She oh, like that's that. cute. Um, mm-hmm. And then I saw, I just checked that Dana had also tweeted. And do you mm. know what else mm. happened? Mm. E4 re- re-ran mm. on that night the Jackie Oh, yeah, episode. I actually saw that, yeah. And did it on air tribute. Yeah, that's cool. Which I thought was, like, quite that's incredible. Cool. Yeah, they've got a schedule to fill at the moment. <laughs> no, no, that is nice. I'm just being glib. <laughs> what were you going to I was going to start with this. It's so lame. I was going to say, Gaz, finding a friend like you, you've made my dreams come true. Oh, God. <laughs> Great. Well, um, we're going to come to that conversation, but no, you're right. It's like, just... totally how I feel as well. You know, like, I used to listen to the podcast and, like, I really looked up to you and now to, like... Get to play, just, get to play. Get to sit at opposite my house. you, and, you know, dissect the game. It's just, oh, I can't, I can't really express it well enough. And, and like Davon and Kevin, we're also doing the podcasting game really, really shit. <laughs> I need you to get voted yeah. out at any minute, <laughs> so we can feel that. I was watching that this morning, and uh, Dan was in the room, and he was like, "This is why Americans get on our nerves, isn't it? Mm. Because they're just so over the top like this." And yeah, I was like, yeah. This, yeah. <laughs> I didn't believe any of that. Uh, really. No offence to our regulars. Shout out to the regulars. <laughs> that is a Dan's views and not mine. No, they are over the top. And then aren't we, you know, cold and repressed? Well, almost certainly. <laughs> but funny. Muted. <laughs> and also, before we get started, I just want to mm. give a big shout out to Luke. Uh, I sh- we do say his surname, don't we? Yeah, Luke, Luke St- Stammen. Stammen. Um, <laughs> who has donated to the podcast this week? Thanks, Luke. He actually wanted to donate to me because I was made redundant this week. Uh, but I said, I'm going to share it with Gaz because it's better for the podcast, doesn't it? Gets me home. Although, Thanks you bought me zero fucking wine round with you, so what the fuck? Because I don't want to get drunk too drunk tonight because I've got plans tomorrow. Uh, well, what about that 25 quid? I think you should give it back. Um, <laughs> I'll get you something later. <laughs> <laughs> Panic, panic <laughs> <laughs> it's all right we have got some wine because luckily i had some so it's but thank you so much that really touched me that was really unexpected and just cheered me up on a really shit day so thank you and it cheered me up as well <laughs> 25 quid in my bank um, that was 25 quid each listeners so do you know what, on, like, what have you donated to bb on blast lately um, yeah <laughs> and if you do want to donate go to bb on blast <laughs> Dot com. Dot com. Have we still got that? <laughs> yeah, we got it. We've oh, pay- repaid for it. Yeah, well, there you go. That, every little helps. That 25 quid of your money can go towards that. Yeah, either that or one. Wait, no, we did pay for the donation. Did. didn't we? Yeah, Rowan, yeah, I, I think. think. It's, it's got to be Rowan. She's the only other person who gives us anything. Molly um, sometimes chucks a few quid in. Uh, love Molly. Congrats to Molly. He got her PhD today. Oh, fucking time, did she? Mm, she won't listen to this. So that's no, a waste of time. I I listen to a poc- I've got my little tidbits here before the episode. Nothing of interest really. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's useful. <laughs> Overselling Good start. it. Imagine I listen- that at the start of the start at the start of a Big Brother show. Tonight! <laughs> nothing of interest really. <laughs> that would be the honest fucking answer. <laughs> But put some tension music over it. It will seem exciting. Um, Problematic nominations. Yeah. <laughs> White housemates being jerks. So here's what I heard. Over the top emotional conversations <laughs> for camera. Stupid costumes. So this is what I heard on another podcast. 